See, chat, that's your problem. You think you building a building when you not building a building. Dumbass chat not building. Like it's CNN, and I thought it was one shot. I tell you again. Let me see. Tap into another one, chat. Let's keep our ears to the street. You heard J.I.D. album? It's the J.I.D. You notice me. The if one, a woman two, says people find her to be intimidating, is that a good or bad thing? It depends. It's some because people say I'm intimidating, so it's like does that mean like I'm really pretty hmm. and that's intimidating, or do you just think I'm a bitch, Whoa. or maybe because of the RBF? Do you think some men are intimidated by you, and why? Oh, definitely. My whole life, I'm tall. I consider myself pretty, mm -hmm. so a lot of men don't approach me just for that reason because they're scared of me. They should be. Because I come off bitchy, very bitchy. But that's a good thing? Sometimes. Wouldn't that make you unapproachable? Never. Some guys like bitchy. Do you think that's somebody in the chat like that? Most guys like bitchy? They like uh, dominance, is what I'd say. So you think that guys want to submit to a woman? Or do women want to submit to a alpha male? I think both. Are you more flattered or annoyed when a man approaches you? Annoyed. <laughs> annoyed. <laughs> um, it depends. Like, if they're coming up to me to, I don't know, say something nice and I'm going to be flattered, but if they're coming up to me and saying, like, rude things and just, like, flirting really awkwardly, then I'm going to be annoyed. That's some chat would do. Stop flirting so damn awkwardly, goofy ass. It's situational. Yeah. Depends. I think so. Well, then why why did you say annoyed, though? What was your first, uh... Because <laughs> usually it's annoying if someone's, like, I don't know, coming right up to you. It's, like, I guess they're forthcoming. I mean, I guess that's a good thing, but in my experience, especially, I don't know, like this, like, get, getting, like, catcalled and shit like that. Mm -hmm. Annoying. Annoying, <laughs> definitely. Agree. Would you say that the majority of men who approach you catcall or are respectful? Oh god, I mean it's a mix of both. Yeah, I just honestly. got catcalled like five minutes ago, so it's like a good mix of both though. <laughs> annoyed. Um, I'm definitely annoyed. annoyed. Why is that? Because they don't know how to approach people. Yeah. Okay. Why would men want to approach women today when they no longer have to worry about just being rejected, but also have to worry about being accused of harassment? So that's kind of effed up. Because, I mean, there's a fine line between trying to pick up on a woman mm. and, like, forcefully going after her hey, hey. after she had... Hypertonic XXX just subscribed. Shut your hypertonic ass up. He said no. Right, I agree with that. Obviously, if the woman rejects the man, I think he should, you know, leave her alone. Right. But I'm saying, what do you think about what do you think about a woman basically feeling like like basically annoyed that the guy even approached her just to begin with? Um, I think that's personal issues. I think yeah. social media has them very brainwashed, and I think that they like the attention, whether it's good or bad. Cause men will be mean. Like, why wouldn't a man approach a woman? Well, what does that mean? I mean, men see a woman, they see something they like, and they just go for it yeah. without thinking. Men do not think. They don't think. Do you think men are intimidated or... Chad, you ain't thinking, you dumbass. You don't think. You don't think. Dislike when women approach or make the first move. Hell no. Men like when that shit happens. So why don't more women do it? More women or men? More why don't more women I approach? I think that a lot of women are afraid of rejection. Man, we love that shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie. If a girl walk up to me, bro, she telling me, she feeling me, bro, I'm a, I'm a, I love that shit, bro. Because a lot of girls, they be playing hard to get in shit, and that shit sucks, bro. So why don't more women do it? Hey, wait! Scam BFK. She preaching Just to the choir, time. bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, in today's generation, yes, most men like to be chased, so they do. So then why don't more women chase? because women don't like it. Women you know, don't. We're, we're living in a weird time. We're going to waste generation. our time chasing men. Like, we chase them, they're going to get what they want and waste, waste our time and do it next with the same woman. Well, how are men not wasting their time chasing women? Shit, some probably are. Who knows? Guys will, like, get anything that they can. Well, I'm just saying, why would women fear rejection if they're far less likely to be rejected? Because women don't You're like to feel that. like they're easy. Well, a lot of women say they're afraid of being labeled. So my question is, how is labeling women sluts different than women labeling men creeps? It's no difference, bro. It's the same no thing. It's just a double standard, I guess. Why do some women travel in packs and do they realize that by doing so, they are making themselves unapproachable? 
No, traveling in pack is for safety. That's a good thing. They need to stay in packs, chat. Do you think women are more open to being approached by a guy? Guys care about the relationship more than girls do. That's hey, just hella facts. Kiwili34 just subscribed. Be without that opportunity. If she meets him when she's alone or in a group. Whew. Probably alone. Probably alone. I would more appreciate it if he comes towards me in a group respectfully and because I when I'm when I'm alone I don't know how he's gonna approach me so I feel more safe with them who do you think are the bigger cock blocks men or women women so then would you advise men to avoid approaching girls in groups <laughs> um <laughs> probably yes who are the bigger cock Am blocks men or women about what probably men I hate to say it we like this each other over. If we think we can get laid, we will f each other over. Sorry. <laughs> Why are That's there women who say it. they go to clubs only to dance and not be approached by men? I mean, for a lot of the times we do. Like, we want to have a good time and go out. Like, I'm a, I'm taken, and I still love to go shake my ass at a oh! bar with my friends. So I love going to dance with my girls. Right, but I'm, I'm, what I'm saying is, if women didn't like being approached by men, why wouldn't they just go to gay clubs? Um, I don't really find that that would be that much fun. Um, so what makes it fun because they're straight men? Nothing about the straight um, men is fun. I, I just think like if it's... you go to a, a gay club, then obviously I don't... I'll, first of all, I don't think it's respectful to the people that are gay because they're obviously going to the gay club looking to find a relationship and you are a straight female looking to just have a good time with your friends and I don't think it's respectful to them to go to Can the club. Can I just club. ask you one more follow-up question yeah. about that? Why is it that uh, gay people go to gay clubs to find a relationship but straight women go to straight clubs not to find a relationship but just to have fun by themselves with their girlfriends? I think it also just comes down to whether you're in a relationship or not and if you want to support your friends and- She just fucking chatting. What the fuck are you talking about, lady? Oh, I don't want to interrupt the gay club because they're trying to actually find love with each other. But when I go to a straight club, it's okay for me to be there not trying to find love when straight men come to me. Shut your dumb ass up! Hang out with them while they're single. I think that's okay as long as you respect your relationship. It's also a brush up a breath of fresh air when you like go to a club and you don't have a constant amount of guys coming up to you and you're just like having fun with your friends yeah because they definitely want to have like some guys like actually give them that attention like i really think it's for the drinks though like they don't want to pay for shit <laughs> at the same time women do like the attention of things as well in my opinion like we like to feel like we're cute and we're beautiful and we are approachable in a sense but at the same time like Gay clubs are limited as well, like you like you said, like there's not that many gay clubs in the area, but there are just straight clubs, normal clubs everywhere you go. So either way. Why is it if a man approaches a woman at a bar or a club, there's a good chance her friend is going to rescue her? Because she finds that man to be unattractive for her friend. So she should be there to rescue. Why are women against being controlled by men, but have no problem being controlled by other women? Because we've been controlled by men for years years and years and now no more well then why would they be okay with women controlling them why not i swear to fucking goodness man everything men do is bad everything girls do to them is okay i really don't understand this logic from the women that are keep talking that don't make no fucking sense man it don't make sense well, why would you be con okay with anybody controlling you that's a good question. Oh my God, it's not a good question. It's just common fucking sense. You don't want to be controlled. Then why the fuck you okay with girls doing it? Because we're women, I don't mind them. Like what the fuck are you talking about, man? Question. But women are just smarter, so. You a dumbass. How the fuck you talking about you smarter? Talking about women are smarter. You ain't one of them. They should be the ones making the decisions and stuff. If women are smarter than men, why do they keep opening up their legs and- Oh, he said that. Leaving men's lives. That's a good question. Everything a good question to her dumb ass. You so damn smart, you ain't got a good question in your head. 
talking about she women are so damn smart they falling for the oldest tricks in the book then that's a good question I was about to say, I do it for entertainment purposes. Okay. Um, Same reason why men go get escorts. Sometimes us women just have to do what we got to do. Oh. Girls fall for lies and manipulation from men because they want to do the nasty desperately as opposed to a man paying for an escort. That makes sense to me. Are you more flattered or annoyed when a man approaches you? Um, it's still flattering to me, but like, I'm not like, I'm just, if I'm not into it, I'm, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to do that. So I'm just like, thank you, but I'm not like, I just politely reject. So when would be an appropriate time to approach a woman? That's honestly such a hard question because women are in different stages of their lives all the time. Some women like to go out by themselves, have a good time with their friends. Some women go out and they're single and they want to be approached. So that's like, there's really not even an answer for that question because everyone's so different. Well, it's obviously pretty clear that, you know, a lot of women don't like to be approached when they're like walking to their car in a parking garage. Oh, so, yeah. So we know when not to approach them. Yeah. When is it okay to approach? I think it's okay to approach a woman and at least try to approach a woman. Um, if they're out and about, like, at a, like a, if they were going to a bar, going to a club. But I, like you said, I would definitely not try to approach a woman if they're like at a grocery store or something like that. That's just not a time to do that because we're just living our life grocery store is a no-no that's the most casual place you can go target walmart grocery shopping what are you talking about the store is the best place if either of you were looking for a quality man where would you expect to find one i think a grocery store would be ain't that a contradiction prime and we're not we're not about to have we don't want that to happen like we're just just because we're there in a public space doesn't mean that we are approachable to date you. How should a man approach a woman if he wants a relationship versus he- What? Just because we're in a public place don't mean we're approachable to date you. Because you're in a public place, that makes you approachable. Whether you want to date me or not is your decision after I introduce myself. Hi, how are you? I'm not interested. I'm going away. Like, it's that simple. He relies on his offensive line to give him space. When you need a little extra- just want sex okay so if a man wants a relationship you definitely got to put on your a game um i would approach it by taking him out um tell him hey you're gorgeous giving him a compliment taking him out i don't think you should walk up on a female when she by herself and nobody is around that's dangerous i did that before the girl looked scared i know what you're talking about and you got to go for the kill like as you as you approach them in person or the very next day after you get their number be direct don't text them for three weeks trying to get to know them you take them out um and i would say even the same for if you just want to have sex but um you can put on <laughs> he looks scared because you bald and ugly put on a little facade if you want to have sex but <laughs> for a relationship you want to vet the woman you want to make sure the woman that why was she scared the girl was smaller than me she was like five two it was like 11 30 at night her bus wasn't coming she was my co-worker i worked with her it ain't like it was a stranger she was on my dick at at work earlier that's why i walked over to her but she definitely was curled up in the corner and i was like all right bro i don't know what's up with her you're trying to get at is uh it checks all the boxes you know she's she's uh high standards you know what does it mean to have game it just means that you got like like you see chat this is the question y'all need you're five two also shut your funky ass up what does it mean to have game see chat y'all tell me what does it mean to have game because you always reach you got no game reach you fumble that's the information we've been needing now we getting somewhere now we making progress what does it mean you can talk that talk what the fuck does that <laughs> this is why i hate everybody what does it mean to have game talk that talk what's that talk you're so damn vague and no goddamn specific thing y'all always making shit up when y'all feel like it you're always just making shit up. It's that riz, sir. Well, what is that riz? Y'all keep using words to describe a different word. That doesn't make sense, bro. You're not telling anything. 
Y'all ain't, I swear to God, bro, y'all are fucking stupid, man. You don't know how to talk to somebody, question mark. Chat, talking to somebody has to be obviously different because you can get put in the friend zone. My understanding of what game is, it's how well you can show your interest in somebody. When you're interested in a girl, if you have great game, you can't get put in a friend zone because she fully understands you're not trying to be her friend. She fully understands that you're interested in her. I think that's what game is. I think it's showing your interest, but nobody describes it that way. So I'm really lost because you can people always tell you just be yourself when you're talking to girls but when you be yourself it could still come off as too friendly and a girl put you in the friend zone but if you be yourself and flirt with her and do things that will make her think you're interested that's how they think you you like them like that's that's what i think game is that's what i think it's interest but nobody describe it that way so that makes me lost Y'all are fucking stupid, man. Only game Reese got is the PlayStation. I swear to God. I swear to God. Fuck game, just walk up to Shorty and ask how much. That's what I said. Y'all motherfuckers said talk that talk. That's what the fuck. He said you got to be able to talk that talk. <laughs> These motherfuckers in here. He told me you got to talk that talk, Reese. Shut up, man. It just means that you got like, like you know how to talk to women and approach them in a manner where they don't feel like annoyed or creeped out. My definition of game is that you got to show every woman that you're interested in dating and or hooking up with that you are the prize and she's lucky, lucky that she's met you. Okay, now he went a total different direction. I have to show my interest to young ladies and make them feel like they lucky to be fucking with me. That's the game, Chad. Is that, do y'all agree with that one? It's showing your interest to the point that these girls will be lucky to be close to you. Is his nose crooked? That's what you took from this information? Top G talking that talk. That's Reese. Talk to them. Chat, this is how I know y'all got no game. Because I'm asking y'all what's game. And y'all start scrambling like motherfucking Lamar Jackson when his O-line breaks down. Y'all are lost in the sauce. Reese got more game than everybody in here. And I just figured it out that fast. Y'all lost in the sauce. Reese stressed because y'all pissing me the fuck off. That's how I know Reese got all the game. Reese, you more deformed than him. Reese, that's cap. No, you got to show that you interested in her and only. In her only. And that's a girl talking. Nobody care about only being attracted to her. His nose ill. Different experiences in chat. Reese got no game. Y'all wish I didn't. Cap, Reese. Reese is that your dad. Boy, stop. If women want men to just be themselves, why is approaching women a skill men need to learn? Why does he need game? Because when you're young and immature, the way you handle your crushes are way different than how you handle them as an adult. You grow up and begin to mature. When you have a crush as a kid, it makes you shy and awkward. But as you more develop into who you are as a person, when you have a crush, you become more confident and enter. Yes, that's how you develop the game. That's how you develop the game. Chat, I'm trying to... Are y'all dumb? I keep trying to tell you Reese got his ear to the streets. You were talking about Reese ain't got that game. Then how am I defining it so flawlessly? Just about to get mad. Chat really looking at me like I'm the goofy of the year when I'm out here holding it down. Are you dumb? That's y'all problem. Y'all never knew that. Y'all never knew Reese was tapped into the streets. I keep telling y'all to take notes. You ain't writing shit down. Look at you. Why you ain't got no bitches then? That's what I'm wondering. That's the exact thing I want to know. Oh, well, that's on him. If you're not unconfident about coming up to me, I'm not going to want to talk to you. 
because women are lying. Women don't want men to be themselves. That's just something that they've been told through Disney fairy tale. Huh? That's just something. Yeah. Because women are lying. Women don't want men to be themselves. That's Five just something that just subscribed. How the hell don't a girl want you to be yourself? They've been told through Disney fairy tale lies and the media. For most men, they can't be themselves. They have to lie or do something else or put on facade for women. Women say women say they want you to be honest. Women say they want you to tell it like it is, but you know that's a damn lie. They don't know what they want. Why do we keep asking men to have game when approaching women and instead ask why modern women are so unapproachable? Well, it's one of those things I like to say, two things can be true at the same time. If you don't have game, a woman will not talk to you. Hey, hey. And the reason why the women seem on ski mask underscore way God just subscribed. Damn. I got no game and got all the bitches. It's not about game, it's about money. That means you buying bitches. Nobody want to hear about that. <laughs> he said, I ain't got no game, I got money. The girls get to me. Nobody want to hear that. Nobody want to hear about you, Donald Trump. Nobody give a fuck. That dude drinks a lot. His eyes are yellow. That's how you know he, he tapped into that game. Let us see that hairline. I ain't got one. Because most men don't have game. That's Chad. And we seeing it right here when I asked y'all about game. Chat, now Reese got to tap in and put y'all on to the def definition of game. Do I need to keep coaching y'all? Because y'all keep talking about Reese, you got no girls. But why do y'all keep asking me for girl information? Because the coach ain't in the game. I keep trying to tell you that. LeBron can't win multiple rings because he ain't got no Phil Jackson in his ear. He ain't got no Greg Popovich. That's the difference. You need that coach, and that's what Reese is. Reese be coaching from the sideline because these dumbass girls ain't out here. Fuck it. I ain't got time, man. Y'all pissing me off now. I got game. You ain't got shit. Shut up. I'm not taking advice from what? I'm not taking advice from Alfred Baboon. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Alfred Baboon. Professor Reese, y'all getting on my nerves, man. Women are super, in this day and age, super uh, entitled. There, they'll be like, a girl will be a four or a five walking around thinking she's like a nine or a ten. Super delusional. Why is that? Dream uh, probably society. Just probably just uh, not having the right values, not having the right uh, leadership or upraising. How do you think that will end up working out for most women? Uh, poorly for sure i mean you guys can see it you could probably see it today we already seeing it man every time i hear about these girls they talking about men ain't this and men ain't that i hear it i see it with all the single women out there mm, i don't think modern women are unapproachable i think it's the way that men come up to them well why are women so quick to assume the worst because of all the stuff that has happened with men over years so how are men and women ever supposed to get together if women assume the worst in men that's something for a man to figure out. Well, Damn. doesn't that also affect women if women don't want to die lonely old cat ladies? Uh, no, because I can easily find a man that will. You told us you was a munch. I was playing. Shut up. I broke my TV that day. I wasn't thinking straight. He'll approach me in a good way where I won't feel creeped out, where I want to talk to him and stuff, rather than a man just being like all up in my face. So would you say that women have more advantages in the dating market than men do? No, men have more of an advantage. Well, did she is out here just rambling. Don't you say that you have, I mean, don't women have the privilege of being more picky because they have more options? No, I think men are probably the pickiest. You don't even know what it's like to date as a man and you just assuming bullshit, man. You're not putting yourself in a position of what it's like to be a man pursuing a woman. You just keep looking from your side of the spectrum when guys approach you. When it comes to picking a girl. How so? They always want a girl that fits the the now like she has to look like what everyone else wants what the fuck are you talking about man it's rather than just a really pretty woman that what does that even mean that might not be like top tier of what instagram standards are nobody give a fuck about instagram hoes do you think it's true that uh men often look for trophy wives and women often look for sugar daddies no i think men try to they always want a girl that's like 
a Kim Kardashian. That's the trophy. So don't, want, don't men stuff. want the hottest woman they can afford and women want the richest man she can attract? No, because... Everything I know from this young lady. Can you agree with something? I don't know. I'm not speaking for all women. I don't want well, the richest man. Well, I'm not saying man. all women, but isn't that generally true? Isn't that more true well, than it's... Well, it's a stereotype, yeah. Well, it that means it's general. If it's the stereo... I'm getting mad with this young lady, bro. I'm getting mad, bro. Chat, this is why y'all are goofy. This is why. Women be lying. The N-words will do the nasty with anything. Ay, ay, ay. Women really don't know what men want. Isn't it more true than it's untrue? No, it's a stereotype. So you think it's more untrue than it's true? It's a stereotype. So then, well, aren't certain stereotypes? I'm not listening to her no more. She just want to argue with this young man behind the camera. Talk about men, but it's wrong to stereotype when we talk about women? Exactly. What'd she say to me? So it's not wrong to stereotype when you talk about men, but it's wrong to stereotype when we talk about women? Exactly. Isn't that... I'm 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 confused. I'm so confused as what it's like for you men to walk around with these girls because a lot of these girls just think women are better than men. What the fuck are y'all out here doing to these girls that got this young lady feeling this psychotic? Whatever men do is wrong, but whatever girls do is right. What the fuck has she been through in life? That's what I want to know. I want to see what her past is like. I want to see her past and how guys talk to her. Because what the fuck is she talking about to me? I don't know what the hell she got going on, but it don't make no sense. You're typing men the same way that you said it's wrong to stereotype? No. So it's not wrong to stereotype when you talk about men, but it's wrong to stereotype when we talk about women? Exactly. Isn't that a double standard? No. Why would men approach women who are so quick to assume the worst? Well, you can't read anybody's mind, so you just approach them all. But I always like to say, women usually send choosing signals. So if you see a woman that you're interested in, just go stand next to her at the bar. If she's interested, she'll give you a choosing signal like hi or smile at you. And if she's not interested, they usually just get up and go away. But if she's next to you for a minute or so, strike up a conversation. But don't say nothing dumb like, hello, beautiful, or can I buy you a drink? Look around. Maybe she has something nice. Oh, that's a nice uh, uh, purse you have. Or what do you think about what's on TV? Keep it casual. Never lead with your wallet, your clout, or compliments. Those are the biggest turnoffs when you walk up to a woman. Chat, write that down, man. Get this ugly motherfucker off my screen. Because he's ugly, if he wanted to do the nasty, that mean he would have to have more of an idea of how to conversate. Wouldn't you agree, Captain Dickhead? <laughs> I swear to God. That's your twin. Well, lucky us. That's why we got this shit figured out and y'all lost in the fucking sauce. God damn it, man. Y'all, st I'm still mad y'all don't know what game is and y'all keep telling me I don't have it. I swear to God, I'm about to get mad again, bro. Y'all really getting me mad. Y'all been in my head for months when y'all don't even know the fucking sauce. That's y'all problem, man. Goofy ass shit. Hey, forever. Hey, forever bump. You really think that? I know it. I've been telling you about the Riz. You just don't want to listen. Wait, what the fuck? We need music because my PlayStation is turned on.